Hey everybody, it's Chris the Comedy Bunny, Dragor, and Xander the Blue, and we're here to ask you the question, what, what the, the, the flicks? flicks? That's pretty good. Always. For three white guys. Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, All right, so we... So, uh, we're here to talk about Voltron. Hey, robots and lions. Earth Defenders. Legendary and, Defenders. Uh, yeah, the final season's coming up, so we got to talk about this shit. Okay. In case you don't watch. Okay, so just as a small aside, I want it known that there is an official Voltron podcast by, like, two of the creators of the series. Oh, and it's okay. it's really awkward. It's really awkward? Yeah, it's like teenagers with a mic in their mom's basement level of awkward podcast. <laughs> Do they have their pants on? Well, I assume, but it's a podcast, so anything's possible. So they're like their audience. I, I'm, I understand. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, that's the weird part. What? Like, I don't, it might have gotten better. I have not been like a studious follower of it, but especially in the earlier yeah. episodes, it's like, they're like, hey, Voltron nuts, we're here to talk about every version of Voltron because we're for all Voltron fans, but they're really not. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, well, anyway. I like this new Voltron. It has been absolutely wonderful. Xander, your your introduction of the show to me was, Dragor, watch Voltron. It's better than it has any right to be. It really is. That's pretty and right. I, I don't think I've ever heard that endorsement before, so that phrasing alone was enough to get me to check it out. And I'm going through yeah. it, I'm like, all right, I, I dig the first season, and then, sure, I'll watch the second, and then by the third, I'm completely drawn in. Yeah. It wins you over it's pretty quick, great. actually. It does, it does. For um... me, I went into it, so I was like, oh, they're making a new Voltron. Okay, DreamWorks. I've been jamming out to Puss in Boots, the animated TV series. <laughs> if you're okay. you know, if you're better than that, you're 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 a positive in my book. So I checked it out. And I was like, Whoa, this is like Korra. How or this is like <laughs> Avatar. Is. And then I saw them make the stupid Avatar face and I go, Oh, there it is. There's the Avatar <laughs> face. Okay. And then I was like, Yeah, this is definitely Avatar. And then I was watching it, and I was like, "All right, I'm into this. I'll, I'll, I'll fuck this movie." And then it was like a TV okay. series. What is the Avatar face for those who don't oh. know? Oh, well, okay. So like, Avatar creators and animators have this weird thing where like, when they're doing like a joke and like it's not supposed to land, and their funny reaction face to make you laugh is like a hmm, and they get the flat eyes. Oh, it's like and they, yeah, they like they look at you and you're like, mm. and they always have like the grumbly mouth and they're like. Mm. And they do it a lot, and it usually is accompanied by some by some sound effect that's kind of like a boing. Oh, so it's you the realize dash underscore dash of faces. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, this is okay. This is Got why it. DreamWorks acquired them and made well, them do this. Okay. You have to be in the stupid fucking face club because you know there's the DreamWorks cringe face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, you're right. Yeah, there is. Well, like I said, animators always have tells. Because when mm -hmm. like when you work with anything enough, you're like, well, I know this works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. but I think somewhere in DreamWorks movie history, you have an entire team of artists pleading, going, please don't make us make this character make this stupid fucking face. And then some DreamWorks exec goes, we pay the bills, and you're going to make that character make that stupid fucking face. In my fan... We should talk about the actual cartoon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In my fanon, I like that it's more of an artur artist that like that's the face of a true soul. Oh, Lance makes that face a lot. Let's talk about Lance. Yeah. Voltron's gonna make that face at the oh, end. Oh, please yeah. you. He's gonna be all smug yes. and shit in front of the moon and the little boy fishing in the moon. <laughs> in front of the yeah, moon. Yeah, but mm. Mm, I'm Voltron. I'm Voltron. I'm smug all and right. snarky. Where do we even start? Uh, watch the, show the is first smug and seven, snarky. Watch the first seven seasons and then go, wow, even Lance kind of has an arc. Yeah, he does have an arc. I mean, he? okay. I think the best way to start is one, like, hmm. spoilers. If you really... Spoilers. Yeah. If you really want to just, like, 
be surprised by the twists in this film. No, not film, but wow. Series. Well, okay, each super long film. Okay, thing. so modern television writing is a short film with four extra episodes thrown in to pad it out to an actual thirteen episode arc. So yeah, film. <laughs> Most right, TV that's fair. series. Most TV series are shitty made-for-TV movies that get extra episodes. <laughs> it's true. Uh, it's like a real thing. But I'm sad now. It's okay. It's fine. It's just writing. It's it's how it works. Everything has... But they time. could make things so much more interesting than that. Well, I mean, it, hmm. I, I'm kind of underselling it because okay. I still like Voltron because it's doing its so, job. Yeah. But, you like Voltron, um, place to start. Yeah, yeah. I think the good, the best place to start with Voltron is that um, overall, it takes itself just serious enough. It's an yeah. actually good action cartoon with some humor elements. The way, the big praise I would heap on it is... For the most part, its internal universe rules and logic are fairly consistent, which does include Voltron is OP as fuck. Is Otherwise, <laughs> but even that's that, you know, you have the universe, you have these laws, you have how you know, all your bad guys work and their power structure, and, and Voltron's just going to fuck up your shit. But aside from that, they also, uh, there are in-universe consequences. Nothing yeah, is returned sure. to the status quo, right. and that is so wonderful. And so refreshing. How do you guys feel about the unknown? Uh, you can always bank on magical bullshit that you didn't know Voltron could do before. Oh, the Voltron power ups that just happened because someone. Oh yeah. Enough? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I mean that's the thing. I think that they're earned enough. I mean, especially if you're applying it to like Voltron, the general Voltron franchise logic. Which is usually, mm. we're coming up on Christmas, we need a new Voltron toy. Can Voltron get a new power-up? Whereas this one, at the very least, they're hiding those Voltron power-ups amongst storytelling. Which is, like, right. the best thing you can do. Okay, here's how I interpret it. it you're effectively watching a sci-fi RPG. You have, I you have your party, they start off scrubs and they fight scrub monsters... And then they get more experience, and you level up your dudes, and you pick their skill trees. And as they go, and by the end, like, you're going to be legendary defender. Rah, rah. I hope they win the game. I never realized how much it's like a Japanese RPG yes. because they get to uh, learn something about themselves <laughs> and therefore gain a power. I will say like, it's a, that's where that happens. I will say it's a little bit weird. Not only is it, I learned about myself. Have a bigger gun. Well, it's, I mean, and that's the progressive power shown in traditional arc you're looking at. Like with Dragon Ball Z, it's like, where's your power come from? I'm really angry and I got my ass kicked. So I I'm haven't shat in three pumped. days. I'm going to win now. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's this idea of like, you have to make a personal breakthrough so that you can progress and then you need to reward that somehow. Why not a bigger gun? Because it's an action <laughs> show. Like, if it were yeah. if it were like night in the woods, he'd be getting like a guitar pick because that's kitschy. But like, <laughs> it, since it's an action cartoon with sci-fi elements, they're like, here's like a super sword that means that you felt yourself. Right, right. <laughs> ah, the flaming sword. That means Shiro has come with <laughs> come to I, terms I with his sexuality. Was Pidge coming to like terms with himself, and he's like, oh yeah, you can control plants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, 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 you get vines now. Pidge is, Pidge is like, you know what? I'm comfortable with me. Oh, sweet. I can move plants. That's cool. <laughs> hey, even Pidge gets wood. Oh, right? There you nah. go. Nah. Also, also, yeah, let's talk about Pidge. Because for me, that was like, I would consider the first real, like, twist. Yeah. Not only was it, was it, it was, it went well, it was earned, and it was not played for fucking show. Oh, no, not at all. Yeah. I mean, that's actually one of the reason, original reasons I wanted you to watch the show. Yes. It was because of Pidge. Oh, yeah. You I told that me was nothing. Really interesting. I did. Uh, I was a little bummed because fucking original Pidge in the first Voltron TV <laughs> series 
was like the best thing. Yeah, in the it sounds world. like this. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a fucking frogman. Yeah, it's the worst fucking decision in casting on the planet, but I love it so much. Yeah. Also, oh, I hate that. Page. I like that they started out with the right color lions, and they mm. yeah they managed to actually earn why everyone has different color lions, which is an attention to detail <laughs> in the original series that was just like fuck you whatever, but like yeah. they made them earn it <laughs> in that series, totally. and I was like, I love it. That's a really cool piece of. That's a really cool detail that they took as an idea and rolled with it into something greater. Yeah. I still find it fascinating, though, that like they they could just swap jammies, right? Well, oh. <laughs> I mean, they could, but like that's the with call. the colors, no, they're not gonna fit in each other's shit. Are you I kidding mean, me? It has to match their um, their their Bayard. Gay yard, yeah, Bayard, gay yard, yeah, um. Bayard. Bayard. I couldn't think of what it was called. Bayard. Shiro's Bayard dispenses preparation H. Because <laughs> he's like old, not because he's gay. Oh, okay. I thought it was for the numbingness. <laughs> for the numbing. Nah, I'm being an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I, that was also quite wonderful. I kind of wondered. Loved it. I kind of wondered. Of, well, like, I mean, yeah, me too. Why not, right? Again, it was one of those things where yeah. you're like, okay. That was earned. And then he rules the world. It's not a bad end yeah. of a big gun, but you know. He just he just basically became like the Patton of the world. The 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 the, the United World of America, apparently. <laughs> is it seems to be how things are run. United World and, of America. <laughs> yeah. See, we're in a Team America future, okay. But no, it's a very, very uh uh it seems to be military centric and therefore it seems like <laughs> the general is basically the president of the world as well. Well, you yeah. know, it's, it's a, one of those things where you're like, okay, so I mean, it's a little starship troopers. Yeah. yeah a little starship troopery. I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then GH is in starship troopers. Yes. <laughs> Playing uh, some good old fashioned oh, it's all psychic making sense Gestapo. Now. Oh, yeah. 20 degrees of Kevin Gagan. No, I love that the, 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 the jock leader, otherwise boring guy, is the gay guy. Yeah, he was. It's not the super. It, you would expect it to be a mustache man yeah. or something like that. Yeah, well, he's, he's <laughs> far too Altaian to be gay. <laughs> he's far too Altaian. <laughs> when he was the, the baby with the mustache. I don't, I, uh, I don't yeah. know. I like that they wrote him very Australian. Like, if you ever, because um, the voice actor, his name I cannot think of off the top of my head right now. Um, he, okay. His stand-up is really fucking good. Is a stand-up? Ooh. Yeah, he's a stand-up comedian. That's fantastic. Ooh. And all of his shit's very Australian. Like, it, 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 like, half of it's lost on me because I'm like, I've never lived in fucking Australia. So, like, okay. <laughs> I had to check that shit out. Yeah, it's out. really good. But, like, cool. they take that element of Australia, of, like, his fast talking and Australian dialect and, like, I mean, he's the only one. I guess there's an Australia on Altea because it's not like the princess has that fucking accent. The king sure as fuck <laughs> isn't all like, oi, mate, it's time for a Donnybrook. Like, it's never a fucking thing. <laughs> so, like, I guess he's from Altea in Australia. But, like, by that same metric, with the Australian, like, concept... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> they found that other Altaian. Did she have his goofy accent? Did, she, did, wa- did the fucking they prince did. annex Altaian uh, oh, continent? Oh, you want to know what would be really awesome? Because it turned Australia. out she was Alta- Al- Al- Altaian, uh, the fucking Alt- druid. Al- if she were all... If, like, the hint to the fact that she was, like, an old-ass Altaian woman would have been, like... She was like... Oi, master, I'm gonna <laughs> use my druids to summon another monster to fight Voltron. <laughs> and you're like, how oh, the fuck's she Australian, but also sinister? And then you're like, oh shit! Oh, do, we, do we just no, want to jo- about... jump right to her and and theories? Oh yeah, let's, we can go through that but first. Wait, what? Go. Uh, does... Uh, does Hunk want to fuck a rock person? Yes. Isn't that what? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I just want to check. His lion is Earth lion. Of course he wants to fuck a rock person. 
Well, okay, oh, the Earth point. line would probably sink up and be like, no, we meant stick your dick in like a puddle of mud or something, but whatever. Well, Earth line would be like, well, I, think it, <laughs> I, think Earth line, I think Earth line would be like, I can make this work. I mean, you're fucking inside me. I can make this work. <laughs> this big ass stomach. Are you saying like rock vajay is just like mud? <laughs> it's mud. It's just mud. Oh, oh, then it could be a stick in the mud. Ha! <laughs> I'm Wait, what's his name? Huh. Hunk's girlfriend. Rocco. <laughs> Her name. Is... Her name isn't Rocco. It's probably some Roxanne. dumb fucking animal, uh, dumb fucking a- alien bullshit. Like good taco. I gotta admit, God damn it. I like how like annoyingly vague alien all the shit is in Voltron. Yes, totally. Like, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to this planet. What's it called? Take like four syllables and throw them together, and then mix in some fucking vowels. And just fucking spit it out your ass. Also, their uh, nationalities are very like we like weird and hinted at. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when they show like their homes and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, when they yeah. were doing the videos and things into yeah. their families. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we're all from different. I places. love that about it, though. Uh, yeah, Lance look at us. is what? He's half something and half something else, right? He's some. Yeah, something, totally. He, he's something from where our president doesn't want him to be that's right Got it. yeah i thought so i thought so too like vaguely. and voiced by finn the human is he voiced? oh he is of voiced course. by he's finn awesome. the human i yeah. never noticed voice that. acting is great by the way i also love hunk's uh performance yes yeah hunk's a great character he's a really great character Oh. Um, Remember the episode where they had to make crystals and he used the cookies to make, refract crystals because their ship was broken? Yeah. <laughs> that was a good episode. It reminded okay, me. Okay, let's okay. go real quick. What are some of your favorite one-off episodes? That one. Off the top, that one? The mall. For me, it's the portal where they kept going. The mall. The mall was fucking great. Uh, uh, but for me, the, game the show. portal where they kept going through. The portal where they oh, kept the game going show. through. Is pretty. I mean, you get yeah. you get mustache baby. That's pretty magnificent. That is true. Mustache baby. The mice kept changing. Yeah. The mice. Oh my god. It was, it was good. The stuff. mice were such a weird addition. I forgot about them in the original Voltron. Yeah, they were totally part. Yeah, of it. and then they added them, and I'm like, oh yeah, mice. Are they gonna do something with them? And then they do, and I'm like, this is. I mean. I... Well, <laughs> but if you if you're look. I don't know how you feel about Cosmic Space Dog. I like Cosmic oh, Space Dog. Oh, yeah. If you like Cosmic Space Dog, then you also have to get the mice. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I get it. Everyone's allowed to have a pet. Robot Dog, Space Dog. <laughs> space Puppies OP. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm just... Oh, the, okay, the episode with the battle with Space Dog and the the teleporting That was Galra. fantastic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was pretty freaking cool. Here's how cool that was. You're sitting there wondering, is someone going to get ganked? (laughs) Like, the show made you believe it went to some pretty dark places. They conquered the entire universe. They they killed how many of the Resistance Galra? Almost all of them. Most of them, yeah. There's the dude that, like, has a smile before he fucking seppukus with the bomb. Yeah, they take a oh, lot yeah. of things seriously. They do. Yeah, they do. I like the ch- and people die, sh- like uh, like you were pointing out, Dragon. Yeah, yeah, they do. Sorry, about they that. they take character death relatively seriously, unless you're like a mm-hmm. super main character. Then they'll kind of write to the end of the earth to get you back. Yes, <laughs> which is yeah. a little frustrating, but it's okay. I mean, they, it's kind of Star Trek logic. I also dug a fake dad death. Wasn't that a thing where she got to the goddamn uh, graveyard? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a goodie. I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. That was a goodie. I, what was it? Um, I like Shiro is black dude, right? Not black dude, but the black one. The black lion. <laughs> this yeah, is not coming out. Shiro's the one with yeah. the missing arm. Yeah, yeah. But, Which now he's like the paladin or in a white lion or something like that. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. His growth is he loses more of his arm. 
<laughs> like he has Evil like, hero. He has like half. He has like an arm, and then he gets like super arm, and then he gets like super super arm, and then they like take the arm away. There's gonna be a spinoff where he's just not gonna have any yeah, arms. He's, he's like, I've become god. I am but a head with floating hands. Oh shit! Is Rayman <laughs> god? Yes. I I have a thing. Uh, an episode that. Not, I, I don't know, decently subtly must have hit so many of people's and furries' kinks. Oh. Where Keith what? and his mom are going through the time vortex thing and they're getting all these flashbacks yes. to their life. And I'm like, they totally flashback to when Keith's mom and his dad fucked to conceive him. <laughs> they totally flash to when Keith Lou pops his cherry. And, like, they're out there for oh, two yeah. years, and they have to go from that, and then, like, the lines write themselves, right? Like, yeah. she's yep. gonna, she, his oh, mom's yeah. gonna catch a glance and just say, oh, you are Galra where it counts. God <sighs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh, oh by God. the way. The concept of his puberty where he keeps looking down at his dick and it's all purple and shit, and he's like, oh, <laughs> is, doesn't everyone's dick like that? <laughs> Yeah, but they're in the future, so there's internet. So he's clearly going through the future version of WebMD, going weird, bestial, purple dick. Where is it? Come on. What, why does it have? Why does it have spines? Why does none of my friends' dicks have spines? This is weird, right? This is super weird. <laughs> am I normal? Good question. And then people are like, "You're fine. You're beautiful, just the way you are." And he's like, "I am. I am." He's quick question. Quick, quick fucking question. What's your quick question? Damn it. Um, my quick question was, oh, oh, how did Keith get his fucking crazy face scar? When did I, did I miss that? Oh, um, that, like it happened uh, relatively yes. recently. Was it season six? He did some stuff with his mom. Like you were talking about the warping with mom and doing flashbacks and shit. And then he had a crazy face scar at some point. Well, I have no idea where it came from. Well, it looks cooler, so... No, wasn't he, wasn't <laughs> oh, okay. he doing one of the Galra things and someone slashes the fuck out of his mask? Wait, you're talking about the... That could be was, it. Wait, his Galra challenge thingies or just like a Galra mission? Just a mission. Okay, yeah. Because there were a couple where it was... They're doing... Oh my gosh. Uh, the character's name, but he's in Walking Dead, is wonderful as him. Uh... Steven Ewan? You. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I don't oh, know how to pronounce oh. his last name. What about wait, who's he? He's Keith. Who's Stephen Young? I did not know that. What? Fuck. No, I didn't. I, I didn't know that either. No. But yeah. Oh my gosh. That's I, part of I, why I've been I, loving this so much. He's doing amazing. Oh, no. Yeah, no, he's he's fantastic. So wait, who was No, I, I actually really enjoy Keith's uh character growth. And I really liked the whole episode. Let revealed the gay, if you will, for Shiro. But I really oh, enjoyed that whole the episode. Gay. It's a it's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> now I play my trap card. Ah, oh, low hanging bad humor. Oh it. It no! Trap card. Reveal the gay. I love it so much. I'm disappointed in myself. Pitch. It's okay. Pages reveal the trap card. Yeah. It's right, but it's right there, Dragon. I know. Sometimes you gotta so. eat that low hanging fruit, otherwise it rots. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fondle the little yeah. <laughs> Anyway. Oh, actually, the... that noise you just made. I want oh. it on record. Yeah, that thing. I want it on record that that DreamWorks was smart enough not to have a shitty mascot character with a shitty voice that does the <laughs> oh, oh, thing. Like, it makes me oh, really happy. God. It's like a thing. That's true. Oh, no! Yeah, that bullshit. I'm I need to, I need to point something out, and I can't believe I haven't brought this up yet. One thing the show is great at is shit for old people like me that can recognize things, like references to the original they show. Brought back one of the original Dude. voice actors doing the. Wait, I didn't know that part. Yeah, doing the crazy I accent. Don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for the the oh, on Sven, yeah, they had whatever. him as the, a different character in the new show doing that voice, right? Because mm-hmm. he's Shiro is Sven, yeah. but in the in the original, the character's name was Sven, and he was like this weird uh, northerner. Type. It wasn't good. It was fucking weird. Do you guys? No, was, I mean it was it was huh? it was of its time. Like I can't be too mad at original. 
It was just what But they was. ran into Sven, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really good. We talked about it was fucking amazing. Do you guys remember when Voltron went like I think it was Voltron eighty six when they were like trying to be like espionage spy Voltron. I mean they've got that in this mm-hmm. current one with those Gaul missions. Speaking of fucking keep oh. quitting and going and doing it, like, oh my god. Talk about impactful world changes. Oh, yeah, yes. where he's all like, I'm not going to be a lion anymore. I'm going to be hey. moody and go fucking backpack through Space Europe. <laughs> <laughs> space <laughs> Europe. You, you had to find himself. <laughs> he found himself alone with his mom for two years. Yeah, backpacking through Whoa. Time Europe. Time Europe, time Europe. of course. Oh uh, shit! I love it. I um, liked the princess well, was... art too. When she had to step in and fulfill that role, yeah, yeah, and it was, really was good. not good at it to start with. Can we can we talk about how every character has like this weird one sided conversation with their lion when they're about to die, and it's like the greatest thing ever. <laughs> They're like, Lion, you need to help me. I'm sorry I'm a piece of shit and I have flaws, but I'm working on them. So please, Lion, help me. And Lion, Lion is their and god. And Lion's like, hmm. All right. <laughs> we cool. It always entertains the idea of letting its little shit pilot bite it. Yeah, it's like, hmm. I don't know. You haven't earned it yet and then she's like and then they're all like i'm crying right now and they're like all right now you've earned it okay but the funny thing their morals and their values are so fucked up because they still let the original disaster happen to begin with well i mean they're god lions what do you want they're corruptible (laughs) well yeah they're super corruptible zarkon almost was like fuck you i'm controlling this yeah black lions are like oh my boy zarkon he cried a lot in front of me. <laughs> they're ra- I like to think that their power comes from the tears of their pilots. Oh my gosh, Zarkon, <laughs> those final moments over. I want to see a little funnel pop up when they plug their Bayard in and like they power up and like a little funnel fears and it just says tears in it. Yes. Cry into this hole and then I'll power you up. <laughs> It's like the most fucked up flux capacitor. Uh, it runs on it tears. Runs on pilot te- pilot and tears. <laughs> pilot tears. It wasn't yes. the quintessence. It was the despair all along. Oh, so obviously, I have got to talk about this since like either people die by explosion or just magical space damage. Like you never know how injured someone is. Because it's all magical space what? damage. You don't know. They're laying on their yeah. back with their eyes closed. They could be resting. No, but like. <laughs> it's like with Voltron. Like, and they go, ah! And they fly in the alignment. Oh, they must have got really hurt or something. Yeah, it's super true. I mean, they got to keep it kind of vague because they want to keep it <laughs> yeah. relatively PG 13. So damage yeah, yeah. is just repre- Like, you can get stabbed, but you're just covered in like scuff marks on your face, and you're like, oh, fuck. That sword really bruised me up. Yeah, yeah. But but anything that they do that effectively ends up off screen is incredibly implied, violent, and very real. Which is very which yeah. is which is their cop out, and it's really good. It's the smart way to do it. What? Okay, can we talk about the intro? About the Voltron intro, where everyone's like, "Yeah, yeah, we're doing things," and then they show the princess do some fucking hand shit. And then Mustache hits a button and they do Space 911. Space 911. <laughs> it's just a part of the intro. It really bothers me <laughs> that they cause all these explosions and kill all these people in the intro. Well, it's to represent the atrocities of war. But Voltron is wars? the ultimate jihad instrument. Voltron is like 20,000 nuclear bombs. They do have a shitload of robots. I forgot they do the whole robot. They do. Uh, They do, do, but at the same time, they don't, they're not really forward. Like sometimes it requires real Galra to be around, and then it, you know, it jumps to some other scenes. There's robots, and they're like, oh, wait, no, it, they just blew up the main ship that had a shit ton of Galra on it. That's usually the big one, but for the most part, if they're like little fighter pilots, you generally see the escape pod shoot out before anyone really dies. Like no no they're safe they're good guys they don't yeah. kill except and for the robots the that do die, what one? 
Yeah, later they see. Oh, I just want to say real quick, the robots, the robots that do die, the later on they seem pretty sentient. <laughs> so that was even like more <laughs> disturbing. Relatively sentient, yeah. I, I think like casual, with, casual robot bigotry. I think like with yeah. mo- like with most cartoons, especially modern cartoons, at some point in the future when AI is intelligent enough, most cartoons are going to be seen as like robot hate crimes, and they'll be like. <laughs> Black face of the time. Robot eight crime. Dude, yeah, this, totally. this whole stretch, like this this Voltron legendary defender is eight seasons about basically overthrowing the crazy fucking Galra Empire. And then in yeah. another twenty years there's gonna be a Voltron sequel about like the massive robot revolts. <laughs> just like And it's just gonna be killing all of the fleshy sentient life in the universe. <laughs> Right, and Voltron's like, I'm not doing shit. I'm with my robot bros. Peace. Right, y'all been using me. I ain't standing for that. Oh, actually, here's something I really want to talk about. You remember the prince? Okay. Fucking Lotor. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so like, this is just me, and it's a lot of just me interpreting. But when I saw him, when they first showed him off, and then they had him flaunting, and his like little crew. And just, like, his relationship, especially with Shiro, mm. and for the most part, the rest of the crew, it, like, was 100% reminiscent of original Gundam. And, like, oh. it's relatively deep cuts, but, like, he is designed, he even has a mask at the beginning, to really, like, emphasize this whole, he is Char. Like, whoever designed him oh. really liked Char. And it made me happy, oh, okay. because they wrote a Char <laughs> character but, like, for fucking Voltron. And I'm like, all right, you guys, I like Gundam a lot, is the point of my statement, I think. I believe you. <laughs> Jumping in the line. Rocky, Rocky. Um, well, I, I, well, like, <laughs> with, 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 like, a lot of the characters, I liked how they took uh, the prince, like, he was a big, he was always in Voltron. Yeah. So when they said at the end where they're like, get, where, where, where uh, I believe... The king was uh, injured. He was in a little space coma or something. Yeah, this is the widow. And Hagar is like, uh, get Lotor. Yeah. Right? So I, I was like, fuck yeah. Oh, you know, there was shit like that for like old fans. Like, And actually, another one of those, if if you didn't grow up with it, when they did the form Blazing Sword, they did that for the first time like in season two or three. Yeah, oh, yeah, it. yeah. Yeah, and they did that shit all the time. So it was like, whoa. That was just like little cool little Easter well, eggs for the Like I said, people. they earned all of their power ups relatively well because of that. And so, like, when you have those Easter eggs, they feel less like Easter eggs and just like narrative growth. But also, yeah, you're like, fuck totally. yeah, I like that because I remember that. <laughs> right, I right. I get you entirely. Okay, speaking of growth, though, I really like that they don't form Voltron until like episode three. Yes. Oh, it's not that it's like, all right, fuck you, Voltron. No, every totally. Time. Like, we still see Voltron, because I'm still a big proponent of if the title of your movie or TV show or whatever is Bugs in Space, by, like, episode, <laughs> by like page 15 of the script, there better be fucking bugs in space, otherwise you're being too slow about it. So, like, we do see and hear about Voltron, so it's good, but, like, for the characters, oh. it's good that we, like that it takes some time for them to get used to the concept of Voltron and like working together and having that harmony and f- family and friendship means Ohana and all that shit. Anyway. To become, <laughs> to become yeah. I, I want to say one more thing. Uh, did anyone have anything spoiled to them from the thumbnail that Netflix use? <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? I mean, yeah, I, I do. They had a rainbow, rainbow. and Shiro and Shiro's outline. I didn't connect it, it like, to the cover. And I was just like, who's going to get this? <laughs> I honestly wasn't really paying <laughs> like, that much attention. Like I, oh, I, I totally like, oh my God. It's like right there. It's just on the fucking screen. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I did. It could have been any it. of them. It like with no, it was Shiro. It was uh, it was very no, no. Much I'm Shiro. saying like if you didn't have the silhouette clue, if you just knew it's like oh, and oh and yeah, character is going to come out. You can go through all of the main cast and go, well, which one is it? Well, it's not it's not fat guy because he likes rocks. 
he you lives at Rockpool. What pronouns that Rock uses? I I mean it's I don't, true. but also like Rock porn. <laughs> She was a rock, right? She's like mostly rock. She could talk to rock, so. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Were you guys bothered that Shiro's uh, ex got offed? Some people were. Wait, wait, got offed? Did I miss that? Yeah. Yes, you did. Shiro's ex, like, flew into space battle because the general was an idiot. Oh, that was Shiro's ex. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I oh, wasn't yeah, that was, by it. it, it kind of shitty. I mean, it sucked, yeah, some... but like that was the like I was like, all right, you're, you're doing the right thing there. But, but him and Shira were done. I, what else were they gonna do? They just <laughs> look look at each other awkwardly. I didn't need the it's narrative like, good... of killing the fucking character to show how done. <laughs> that's I mean, that's fair. <laughs> Is that, that how gay culture God works? What? Is that how gay culture works? Once you're done, your ex just has to kill you. The only way to truly end a relationship is to kill yourself. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Like, is, you're is over Alcoa 30. Gonna be like, if, if, ever, if it ever happens, is Alcoa going to be like, I'm sorry, Xander. I have to go off into war. And he just runs out with a gun. See, here's the problem is we can envision him just doing this for many reasons right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> War. He's just way too fucked up. Guys, I need to go to war. What are you talking about? Alright. When the war is over, who does Shiro bang? Mm. He has a question. Uh, Keith's mom turned him gay. Mustache man. <laughs> mustache man. Actually, that's a good one. Yeah, totally. And then he oh, and and goes All right. on about some weird Altaian dick. I think the Altaians have weird genitalia. Like it feels like they would have magical even like like magical weird elf genitalia because they're like space elves but like super space elves. Maybe it's really disappointing and they just have uh, demolition man sex. What? That would be a bummer. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fucking. Yeah, it's just all thought based. No, it's just some twigs and berries. <laughs> it's literally twigs and berries. Yeah. What the, what the fuck is like, that? You just you just rearrange them and you go. Oh. And no, and then Pidge walks out like I know what to do with that. <laughs> whoa! And you're like, whoa! It worked out the whole time. All right, we should at least talk about where we I think. Want, the I want to talk gonna about go. Hagar. We have oh, to talk sure, about yeah, Hagar. Hagar's awesome. Hagar is maybe the best character in the show. Wow, Hagar's that's awesome. a strong. Hagar is my icon on Netflix. Is he really? She. Oh, sorry, yeah. <clears throat> the the the. Witch, yeah, yeah. if you will. So witch, much uh, they're always like Zakan's witch Hagar, and then she's like, she owns everyone who ever says her name like that. Yeah, she uh, she really owned people in, I believe, and at the end of season one or season two. Oh yeah, yeah. she was like, all she was all about that shit. She was way better yeah. than Shira's witch counterpart. I haven't seen Shira. So you, yet. oh, so you. You were saying, uh, Dragger, you were saying you think she might be, like, cognizant. Yes. You think she might be. She, okay. The veil has been lifted. She remembers everything. But here's here's what I like about the show is I don't necessarily interpret that to mean she's suddenly goody two-shoes. Mm. So now yeah. she's not insane anymore, has all of this crazy knowledge. What does she want to do? That's a that's still a scary prospect. I mean, she'll mm-hmm, probably mm-hmm. be like a pseudo neutral party, similar to the what were the, what's their name? The hidden faction of yeah. Laura, the Eye of uh, the Eye happened? of Mamora. Oh uh, yeah, Eye oh of yeah, the Blade of Mamora. Blade of Mamora, yeah, because everyone has a blade, but your blade's different depending on your emotion. Dick. Um. um. <laughs> But I think that she might act kind of like a weird little neutral-esque, like, I, I, I know what I'm doing, but, like, she's probably definitely going to be the witch in the swamp vibe where they go to her. Mm. Oh, okay. And I think, like, yeah, yeah. I, I think she, the narratively the way they're going to go with it is she's going to be the one, one, she's going to be the one that stops the big bad because, two, the big bad is 
if this gets into predictions, Lotor. Lotor is back and he's using his hidden yes. away Altaeans as the power sources for these bigger and badder fuck you up robot monsters. I'm a little bummed think... that he has hidden Altaeans. Like, I'm going to be a little sad if the Altaean people are fine. I got a prediction that, like, Lotor is basically kind of uh, Sephiroth God at this point. <laughs> Because oh, God. he's just been in the quintessence well, you know, fucking ever. Yeah, he went through the quintessence. He's probably kind of crazy. Though. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I yeah. mean, he's got to be. I, I'm a little worried that they're going to use friendship to win the day. Like they're going to friend, <laughs> yeah, gonna friend Lotor off of the uh, out of his throne of power. But no, I think not. they're going to dissolve him into quintessence. And they're going to use friendship as magic to do it, but they're going to use friendship as magic to make a really big gun to shoot him into the hole. <laughs> you think Lotor's going to be like... It is! Lotor's it's going to be the be friendship like, gun. Thank you. <laughs> as, he, as he quintessences away. Oh, It's going to shoot hearts. No, it's going to shoot fucking tears of the pilot because they're all going to cry <laughs> really hard into that hole and get the biggest gun because of it. Because <laughs> they don't want to kill Lotor, who has like all of everyone's cry factor glued onto his head. Uh, emotional phaser. So is, is the last season just going to be this big bad robot thing? Like I, the part that I don't, I don't know. understand is Lotor where are they is going? going to like. Is this just going to be a all right? Here, have a merge into a epilogue. huge. I mean, I think Lotor is going to turn into a huge fucking beast in in goddamn space, and it'll be Voltron hacking him to fucking shreds. Do you think it's going to be like regular that, that, Voltron, no, or is he going to get like super mega Voltron? Oh, it's a good question. I assume so. Maybe they'll. Oh, oh, yeah, they'll combine uh, Shiro's. Oh yeah, they got Atlas a merge mobile the new robot thing with yeah, the dad so they, they can make. Yeah, Ultra Voltron Turbo Edition or something. I wonder, yeah, is it just going to so. basically be a giant dick and balls? <laughs> Look at I don't have a small dick, guy. I don't know why you keep saying that. No one's saying that. You know, no uh, one's saying anything about your dick. Well, no, I'm just saying it's huge. <coughs> Maybe they can summon that space whale. Oh, 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 yes. Anything, Fucking space anything whale. space whale is my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> I have a thing. I have a very big thing for whales being mythical aspects in media, and space whales are okay. double that. So that means you really liked that Matt Smith Doctor Who episode? I did with the space whale. Yeah. yeah it was great. <laughs> I actually went through the list of IMDb that has the list of space whale media, and it consumed all of it. But these spa- okay, Voltron space whales make you see Earth and then eat you, or some shit. Well, yeah, they're fucking weird. mystical, man. Oh, okay. And they're gonna be all like, "I am the space whale. <laughs> what do you wish? I'm like <laughs> Uber God." Maybe they uh, evolved from Star Trek Four. Oh, right? we uh, rescued the, yeah. the humpbacks, and in the future, they become space whales. And then they just yeah, swim exactly. through space and help people discover that it's okay to be themselves or some shit welcome to space whale cast everybody oh, can we except do space, space whale whales cast? due to their size still have to eat plankton which now has to be sentient beings space plankton also kind of <laughs> mythical but like not as much <laughs> uh... it like helps out a few people get through a really rough day <laughs> and then it eats an entire population. Yes. I like the idea of space whales eating dying suns. That's just my personal Yeah, and apparently point. just random adventurers as well. Yeah. In space. I guess that's what that's what that's what cleans up. We've always wondered. Yeah. You know how someone always like floats off in space and they'll never see anything. You get eaten by space whale. Yeah. I'd, be, I'd gladly whales. sacrifice sacrifice myself to the space whale or a space whale in general. What if there's a colony inside the space whale? Oh, exactly, because that's, that's the next step of life. Because awesome. <laughs> uh, space whale is my religion. Oh, my God. No, the, the, whale, oh. the, the city party inside the space whale stomach is like you're ever... 
afterlife, but you still get to be an autonomous being. And if you get shitty, it'll poop you out. Yeah, and then you're stuck. Oh, it's like that underwater water Vegas at uh, <laughs> right? Was that underwater was Vegas it? in? in uh, yeah, it was yeah. actually underwater Vegas with with the fucking mermaids and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Remember that whole episode where they tried to keep him down there for some reason? Well, it's because know. it was underwater Vegas and paradise keeps you here. And Lance was all pissy about not being appreciated enough. You mean you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave? Yeah, that sort of thing. It's- oh, it's heroin now? Yeah. I mean, yes, okay. actually. Mermaid heroin. Mermaid heroin. I'd do some mermaid heroin. What was the big bad in that? It was the tentacle plant beast thing. Yeah, yeah. It was gonna was fuck it? up. Yeah, it was gonna fuck up their cube or whatever. And then they were all, <laughs> "No, not our cube!" And or it was the bubble. And they're all like, "We have to help them." He's gonna pop the bubble. Yeah, yeah. And they're all like, "No, it's the kraken." Don't pop our bubble. It was Uber Kraken. <laughs> Mega Kraken. It's actually the company Uber doing its underwater taxi service using I'm just Krakens. here to pick up Jason. <laughs> Is there a Jason Swartz here? Do we have any other fucking uh, predictions, though? Um. Uh. Is one of them gonna die? No, they're Ooh. not gonna kill anyone. Maybe Shiro. See. Fuck. You are so right. They already killed it, him once, sorta. Yeah. Yeah, but like, uh, if anyone truly dies, it's Shiro. Ah, uh, no! Don't don't kill the gay character. God damn it! He has to be gay with his gay friend after and be dead. Life. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it could be someone like fucking Lance or yeah, something. Well, who are they, Who else are gonna kill? Fucking Pidge? Like, oh no! Why not? Yeah, exactly. Okay, like, all right, one of them might make a sacrifice or something. Well, that's I get that, but like. What if they all do? Do they all die? Narratively, who is primed to sacrifice and it have the most impact on the rest of the team? Most likely the big gay dad to the team. Yeah. The big gay dad. No, but they're gonna get called out for sacrificing the gay. Look, man. (laughs) They're in the writer's room and they're like, all right, can we get away with this? (laughs) <laughs> no, that's, there was one guy who was really against Shiro being gay, and this was the compromise. Oh god! <laughs> they were like, he's like, look, I hate it. I'm like, all right, look, let's just have him be gay, but you get to kill him. Really? Do I get to write it? <laughs> yeah, you get to write it. Oh, this will be great. Goes through like twenty <laughs> rounds of editing, like kids show, animated kids show. You can't. Have him Ugh. die like that. He can't die because Christ stabs him. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> he gets impaled by a bed of dicks. No! Yeah, it's the script that... and he does like a construction paper <laughs> episode somebody of his real like, end. Somebody reads it and like, is this just how you assume gay people exist? Yeah. I'm really jealous. <laughs> I'm mad about it. It's not my fault. You get mad? He's just secretly super gay. It's the best. I mean, Voltron already is kind of gay. It's relatively it's, gay. It's a, it, it makes a rainbow. They all they all are different colors. Yeah. Well, it's because they're all from yeah. different walks of life coming together. Oh. Wait, yeah. are they the Olympic rings right. colors? Ish. Vaguely. They have a spiritual bond with their space robot cats. That's yeah. Okay. Gay. Why lions? Why lions? Like the quintessence revealed itself and it told the original architect, you will make lions. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's good point. It's good point. Because they're prideful. God damn it. Uh, I mean, they were prideful scientists. And the lion. Is it like the dark hold? Whoever peers into the quintessence is going to reveal things about their true nature. Yeah, and then, mm. then the lions are like... I'm sure it's something really weird about the goddamn old hands. Well, all right, remember, it, they, they discovered it because this weird interdimensional rock crashed. Well, I mean... They found the quintessence and... I mean, arguably, I guess my, my real answer would be something along the lines of Voltron is always about coming together to form a greater whole, narratively speaking, no matter what version of the series it is. And lions oh, being yeah. a part of a pride, like and like a group mentality thing, and generally having a what the fuck was that spirit lion? What? Don't you remember that spirit well, lion? Yeah, Wasn't well, because something... you know lions, it's all lion themed. <laughs> it's all lions. It's lions all the way down. 
Lions and sp- right, lions and space whales, man. What are you gonna okay. do? Okay, I'm surprised there hasn't been uh, evil lions. Honestly, I was really expect. That's actually something that surprised me. When he's all like, yeah, when, no, no, like evil Voltron or some yeah, shit. Yeah, I was really well. Can when the prince was all like, I need to get me some of that space rock to make a Voltron. I, I was really yeah. expecting him to make a Voltron, and they didn't. And I was like, No, he started hmm. to, yeah, and I then thought... it blew up. I mean, yeah, but I was really expecting. Oh, so that's gonna come Voltron. back. Yeah, I thought him and his lesbian crew. Yeah, were they're all be the... lesbians. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> and that one that looks like hey. he's been like eh, maybe. No. <laughs> it was super I'm, weird because my biggest thing was like when he was like check it out i got all these bitches i was like oh he's got <laughs> all women that's cool uh, I, he's very progressive in his hiring for his personal yeah, man, guard really for whatever fucking reason fashion forward about and that. he betrayed the fuck out of them and vice versa yeah 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 well they were all too quirky not to like not be just evil yeah. One of them even kind of essentially alluded to, I still kind of want to get laid, so I don't want to die for this. Yeah, good times. Totally. Okay, yeah, so like... the- I got theory time for the show, for where it's going. Oh, yeah, it's theory so, time. Not that I think they're actually going to do this, but the whole lore is this inter-universal <clears throat> dimensional comet thing crashed and leaked quintessence into ours, and they went into the other universe, and it was one source for all of it. Like, that same hunk was moving mm. between universes, right? And there was no yeah. Voltron okay. in their universe. There's only one in, in this one. So they're going to defeat the Galra and like heal everything. And then the future show possibility is sliders or whatever. Voltron's going to hop universes and fix shit. Oh. oh God. Like the newest fix season the other universes? Trolls, the beat goes on. Oh, man. It's going to be like really long version of, uh, what was that? Total, not Total Recall. What was the Sam Beckett? Quantum Leap. Yes. It would be like a never-ending Quantum Leap for goddamn Voltron. Yeah, like the, the final shit. sign-off of the show is like, Voltron needed elsewhere. Whoosh. You think they're going to do that? You don't think they're going to have a finality about it? Well, do we think Voltron's going to stick around <sighs> at the end of the season? They might have to sacrifice Voltron for some stupid reason. Oh, <laughs> Voltron is the death. Yeah. Like kind of how they fucking did with the goddamn castle. It was really cool, but that's what it was. Yeah. We watched the castle die for reasons. Oh, my God. I want uh, that. It can only be a thing for me if Voltron gets to, like, talk at the end and go all Iron Giant about shit. <laughs> Where he, like, looks at Superman. He looks at him and he's like, B. Oh. <laughs> And then fucking caresses all no of their heads. follow yeah caresses all of their heads and then fucking no, it flies, no you're, you guys are going too sentimental let's just go be so <laughs> yes Voltron's just like really and then he, just, he turns into a giant sword with a face at the end and the last thing is like <laughs> and, like Voltron like did anyone else know Voltron could talk no, I have no idea. No, all the paladins are like, <laughs> we, we heard him in our head constantly. We couldn't shut it off. Good riddance. Thank God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Finally, like, well, because it's the paladins and then, like, the B crew, and they're all like, wait, Voltron can talk. They're like, yeah, dude, he never shut up. <laughs> <laughs> just reveal this whole side of Voltron that's like, he's just this weird, annoying guy who's super into hitting shit. Like, yeah, he would just be talking about how he needs to hit it. Like, every solution. Like, Voltron, I need to grill my cheese. I'll hit it with a sword. Voltron, no. <laughs> Lance is finally going to be able to get with the princess, and he's going to be ready to is go. This the... And he's going to hear this voice in the back of his head, food, sword, and he can never get it up with the princess anymore. Well, he's like, is this going to be the Teen Titans go, Voltron? Is this what's happening? <laughs> Please. Like, this guys are super weird. I don't know. Did you hear? Yeah, dude. Every five minutes. <laughs> Big God damn it, Voltron! Shut up. Put, put, <coughs> let's make Doggy in the black one. Voltron, fuck off. Oh, Jesus Voltron wants pet Cosmic Dog. Voltron, you can pet Cosmic Dog, but you're so big. We won't hurt it. <laughs> Voltron, that's what you said about the last cosmic dog. What happened? <laughs> See, Voltron? Oh, okay. 
You can't teleport no more. No, and then Lance is Lance is like going over to, to Keith's like, what do you mean? It's the same cosmic dog. Like, shut up, Voltron doesn't know that. Shut up. Do you want Voltron to know that? No, not really. Well then there you go. I'm the leader for the re- for a reason. Hey guys, what were you talking about? Nothing, Voltron. Just chilling, talking about big swords. Big swords. Big swords. <laughs> We got another big sword thing again. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. He actually made it. Oh, fuck. Voltron, no. That's an outdoor sword. Outdoor sword. And eventually, like, they're like, Hey, Voltron, uh, could you uh, go get go get us that sun? Could you get the sun for us? <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. He flies off. He just flies <laughs> into the sun. Yeah, big sun, Voltron. Go get the big sun. The last <laughs> word of their psychic link is all cats black now. <laughs> oh my oh god. My god I mean he might have been the defender of the universe but god he <laughs> killed my brain I'm dumber for having known Voltron <sighs> so I don't think that's going to happen in the show uh, well I mean that's fine that's fine <laughs> but, uh, okay when are we going to come back to this and uh, talk about what are we gonna are we kind of are we gonna come back to this or not? Nah? What's the plan, Dragger? Oh gosh! You mean come what? back for post season eight? Yeah, something like that. Wait, maybe we'll do something in the middle if there's a twist. Do we think there's gonna be a twist in the middle? That's good. Twist um, in the middle. Yes, uh, mustache will die. No. No, yes. Are they going to like give him that. his final bit of legitimacy? Do, do, is he is he going to yeah. crack a joke at the end? He'll always crack oh, a joke. Oh, yeah, he might. Or is he actually going to die and him. is it going to be awkward? <laughs> no, no, it's definitely going to be awkward. <laughs> like he died over my, like, a heart attack in the night. It happened. <laughs> Real tragic, man. No one's expecting it. <laughs> it was real odd. He slipped on some soap in the shower. Oh, I spit. Oh, he got an Altan space heart Save attack. Save his pubes. Altan space heart attack. Yeah, absolutely. We can't fix the Altan grabbers, man. We have, like, super space... <laughs> the grabbers. The grabbers! I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, I told you about that. I'm having a grab. Yeah, the grab. I'm having a grabber. I'm having a grabber. All right, well... I don't know. Is there anything else we want to talk I mean, about? No, I, I think have... we killed it with big sword. sword. Yeah, no. Big sword. I mean, Voltron's good. It just is good. Watch it. There's nothing. Yeah. It's fun, progressive, interesting, engaging. There's a fuck ton of it to watch. And it's just awesome. It's just a good action cartoon, which aren't as. It's actually pretty rewatchable, too. I will say. Okay. Yeah. I have an actual prediction. Uh, story-wise yeah, do it. for narratively what they're going to do. So it's about coming together and everything, right? So you have all these Galra factions. They're actually, you know, they beat the Galra Earth invasion. So there's still this whole uh-huh. hanging thing of there needs to be unity of some kind. So maybe the early episodes is going to be them splitting off and trying to round up and bring people together. You know, they've had Voltron saving the universe for how many years now? Mm. So that'll be the final come together to fight Lotor. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. And everyone gets to contribute to the Voltron. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna be it's like, like a God universe girl. spirit bomb. I like it. I like universe spirit bomb. That shit's my jam. Yeah. <laughs> there, I did a prediction. Yay. So it's gonna be Final Fantasy as fuck. I still be, never play well, a Final he's Fantasy game. Space Sephiroth. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. No, I, uh, that's a good prediction. I like it. I'm into it. Yeah. That's all I got. All right. Until until next time, what was that? Fire. Oh, that's special. Until next time, Earth Defender. I'm Xander. I'm Dragor. And I've been speaking into a bucket this whole time. <laughs> and this has been... What the, what the, the-